What's up, everyone? Today we have kind of a little brew going on for the last few weeks of Standard. There's SCG Richmond this weekend, and then that's kind of about it. Uh, but while I wish that I could convince myself that playing Teamer or Merge is okay for the second week in a row, uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and decide that that is not okay. I'm actually playing with something a little bit different. So uh, if you've been following my articles and whatnot, you probably know that I've been working on Band Company a decent amount. I played it in the last two tournaments. And... My deck has like slowly become like more and more of this weird thing where uh, I basically just want to draw cards and make land drops and uh, eventually, especially in the mirror match, kill my opponents with planeswalkers and you know try not to get subjugator angeled in the meantime. So uh, it's it's kind of like a culmination of Dramokus Command not being very good just because spot removal is not all that great in the mirror match because most of the creatures are just must kills anyway. And if they get a lot of traction and Reflector made you and whatnot, your Dramokus commands are not going to be very good anyway. So, uh, I've not been very happy with the spot removal. Uh, Paul Retail top aided GP Portland with no commands and just a bunch of creatures. And I kind of like that. It was like a little bit further than what I was willing to do, but we basically decided upon the same thing. Uh, I ended up playing two command and two declaration in stone and... The commands were like, oh, you know, there's Blue Red Fever Visions, and there's like Mono White Humans, and stuff like that, and Stone. I thought it was fine, because Kalidus is still a pretty big issue, but uh, now I'm doing something a little bit different. I see the Sadisi's Faithful up on, on the big card there, and that's kind of what I want to try now. So, uh, I had, I, I thought about playing some Deep Fiends, ultimately did not do that. Played them at the Invitational, they were great at the Invitational. Uh, kind of wanted to go a little bit harder, so I had some Pilgrim's Eyes, and then I want to go even harder than that, so now I have Primal Druid. And I was al already considering playing, like, some sort of rampy thing, just because Sylvan Advocate, uh, just dies to Languish, and I was, like, siding one out against Black decks, and I think the Primal Druid would help with that. Titleist Tracker wants a bunch of mana, as does Elder Deep Fiend, potentially. Uh, speeds up your Nissa Vastwood Seer by a turn, gives you more mana to activate Duskwatch Recruiter with. And basically just, like, having more mana is great in this deck. So I was thinking about doing stuff like sideboarding explosive vegetation or whatever. And uh, I think just playing Primal Druid, even though it's, it's definitely not a beatdown card in what was otherwise perceived to be a beatdown deck, uh, I do think that, you know, could find a home here. So uh, a few Deep Fiends are not enough ways to sacrifice this thing for value. And I definitely don't want this just sitting around in play, not really doing anything. So we also have a couple of Sidisi's Faithfuls. Which actually just kind of works out perfect, because uh, this is slightly better than a removal spell, because you can find it off Collected Company. Uh, it deals with things like Kalidus for, you know, a turn or whatever, which a lot of the time is fine enough, especially if you get to set up a turn where you, like, Faithful bounce their Kalidus. Yeah, they probably get a zombie, whatever. But then you can, like, deep fiend them off black mana, and or at least, you know, spend your turn, like, using Recruiter and trying to look for a Reflector Mage or something, and, you know, try and keep Kalidus off the table for another few turns. So... Uh, I like the Faithfuls. They turn on the Primal Druids. Uh, you can do things like Sidisi's Faithful, your Elder Deep Fiend to get another Time Walk type of thing. Uh, yeah, Faithful just seems kind of sweet in this deck. Uh, one thing I am worried about is actually flooding because I have Primal Druid and Nissa, and I don't, and I have Pilgrim's Eye too. Uh, I don't have a lot of Jaces. Maybe I should play a third Jace, or maybe I should only have 25 land, but I don't know. Uh, the mana base is kind of a holdover from... My last couple band company decks, I didn't play any Lumbering Falls in Portland because I wanted my mana to be good, and that ended up being, like, a little too greedy. Uh, I do think, like, you want some Lumbering Falls to be able to pressure Liliana and whatnot, so... Uh, I had two at the Invitational, and this deck is mostly just a blue-green deck, so I have three here. I cut down on a lot of the Battlelands, and I'm playing a lot of Basics, because I Primal Druid Nissa and Pilgrim's Eye to search them out, in addition to Evolving Wilds, so... Uh, I want to play a lot of basics, still want to have like enough white sources to kind of be able to cast Reflector Mage on time. Uh, want to be able to emerge Elder Deep Fiend on turn 4 consistently if, you know, that's something that I actually want to do in the games. Uh, so maybe I have too many white sources, maybe I have too many basics, maybe I have too many lands in general. Uh, we'll see, but uh, I feel like as long as I have a tireless tracker, all the lands, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'll just take them all. Uh, so, for the sideboard, uh, this is this is me building my sideboard with plans in mind, basically. Uh, I might not know the, the exact in and outs for what I want in every matchup, but 
Uh, I know that Tragic Arrogance is my mirror match plan. Quarantine Field is good against Black White Planeswalkers. Takes out Kalidus and and you know the Planeswalkers uh, against something like Jun or Black Green. Quarantine Field is okay, but it's not great. Uh, I think I would prefer to have Declaration in Stone instead to take out Spiders and whatnot. Uh, but the hope is that this deck just kind of goes over the top of the Ishkanad decks anyway, so we'll see about that. But otherwise, we have Clash of Wills, which uh, is not great. It is certainly not the most efficient thing in the world. Um, ideally, you know, you would have like a Negate or just a two-mana hard counter that stops everything that they're trying to do, but Negate doesn't stop everything that is threatening to you because there are Spiders and Kalidases and Emrakuls and whatnot. Uh, so you kind of have to hedge and play Clash, and I was not super satisfied with Clash before because of the amount of the ETB tap lands and how I'd have to keep my mana open, and uh, the green decks would often outpace me in mana anyway because, you know, maybe they had some sort of acceleration or just, you know, they have things like Traverse, which makes it so it's pretty easy for them to continually hit their land drops. So uh, Clash went dead pretty quick because I would have, like, you know, six to eight lands and they would have, like, ten or whatever. Uh, but in this deck, I feel like Clash is actually pretty decent because I should have a reasonable amount of, of mana can, uh, compared to them. So, uh, I do think that you can just play Clash instead of Negate and have it just be fine. Uh, we have Learn from the Past. Uh, if my deck was a little more aggressive, I think Days Undoing is potentially good. Uh, basically, I like Days Undoing against the Emerge decks that do not have a lot of spot removal, and I like Learn from the Past better against the decks that do have a lot of spot removal. And right now, I think Jun Delirium and Green Black Delirium are more popular than Teamer Emerge, because Teamer Emerge is very unforgiving, very difficult to play. So, uh, I also think the Learn from the Past is just fine against Teamer, so it is probably right at this point to hedge and just play Learn from the Past. Uh, we have some Ojitized Commands, uh, another way of dealing with Spider, and to some extent Kalidus, and uh, it's, it's mostly just like, you know, draw a card, get back my 2-drop, my Recruiter, or my Jace, or whatever, and that is completely fine. And then we have a couple of Dramokas commands. Uh, these could be Gnarlwood Dryads, but I kind of have CDC's Faithful in that spot, so I don't feel the pressure to necessarily have like a one-mana card in my sideboard against them. And I feel like if people are playing humans or they're playing Fever Divisions, then Dramokas Command is probably the best card against them. Could also be like News Constrictor, but I think Command is more impactful overall. Uh, even though it is tough to cast, certainly with my, my lowered white sources and... Uh, to that end, I think the Tragic Arrogance is fine because I have Pilgrim's Eye, Primal Druid. Those should be dying in the matchups where I want to cast Tragic Arrogance. And then against something where I might bring in Quarantine Field, I'm probably not going to have a bunch of Primal Druids post-board, but the games are going to go pretty long, and I'll have Pilgrim's Eye. So, uh, I think the mana's okay. Could use a little work. This is, this is, uh, my first outing with this deck, so let's see how it goes.